What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. I know they're all starting to like get the same, but that's what happens when we really can't go anywhere. I can't do much about that. I am so sorry. But I've been trying to keep it interesting by like doing something different in any video. And today I think I'm gonna paint my mirror. And before I I would go into like a really cool intro, but I haven't made one yet. I've been kind of procrastinating on that, so let's just get started. If I'm being honest, I don't know what angle would be best for this mirror painting. I think right here's our best bet, so let's try it out. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so if you see me pulling out my phone randomly, it's because I'm filming for TikTok. I'm killing two birds with one stone, and I think that's pretty cool. One, two, three. Oh, wait, I have to do. It always messes me up with like filming, cause like people. I always wonder how people get their face in the picture, but then I realize you have to use your left hand and not your right. But I'm a righty, not a lefty, and it's like. And what is up with these beauty fil? Like, I understand everyone wants to look better, but I didn't ask for this. Like, it's just weird to think about the fact that when you open up your camera. You don't look like what you think you look like. Like that, I don't want that. Just give me what I normally look like. <laughs> and now there's like a face changing option. You can like smooth, you can make your lips bigger, lips smaller, whiten your teeth. Like it's just gotten to the point where it's just too much in my opinion. And especially since there's so many people that are like really young on this app, it's like, imagine growing up thinking you look a certain way and then you actually don't even look like that at all like that would weird me out tum tum back you're in the camera <laughs> like people don't realize how specific and what's the word i'm looking for people don't realize how advanced camera ai technology is like i was in a course where basically you learn how to edit photos and videos and stuff using like the latest technology and AI can pretty much do whatever you want it to, especially since now our AI is attached to like databases like Google and YouTube and Facebook and all that stuff. You can find images of a place you were at in the middle of nowhere and Google images will fix the photo for you and put things in places where they should be and remove things and add things because it just has that much information now. So imagine opening an app and it just removes all your pimples automatically or it makes your face smaller or bigger or whatever and you are you have no idea because they don't tell you. That's exactly what TikTok did and it freaked me out. Just doesn't sound like a smart thing to do. Like the human psyche is not ready. We're very, like our, our brains are very fragile and a lot of people don't realize this but a lot of the times we think that we know we're aware of how our brain works but we make split decisions in the matter of seconds that affect our lives because our brain is capable of doing that like think about when you're watching tv 
you know in 0.5 seconds that you want to watch something or not because there's very specific receptors that are peaked that let you know that this is something that interests you. And it's not like a new thing, but that's just how our brain works. One thing I liked about TikTok so much that other apps didn't do, I just enjoyed the idea that like there's no filters and it was just like normal. And now that they've added that feature, that's really not the case anymore. And you know, for an app that's so focused on what you look like, people are going to abuse that. And people are going to use it to make themselves look completely different so they can feel more confident on camera. Which you could argue is fine, but it's just, it's weird either way. Now it's time to add some value. I'm not sure what colors I'm gonna use, but we will see. 